Hello, Farmer Man 2013. Well, I kind of uh, got another color and another tractor to take into the collection. Um, <clears throat> my wife's uncle, or great uncle and aunt, had this sitting back behind their shed. Um, my great aunt, it was her, or my wife's great aunt, was her dad's tractor. And I don't believe it has been run since the 70s. So, it's been sitting for quite a while. Um, it is a 1944 Oliver 70. Row crop, of course. Um, there's the 70. As you can see it. And uh, this thing has a little bit of that mossy stuff all over it. It's been sitting, like I said, for quite a while. The radiator is in good shape, though. I mean, the radiator is in really nice shape. Um, it had, still had antifreeze in it. I drained that yesterday. Um, the engine has had oil in it, has oil in it, but I got one slight issue with it. As you can see, my manifold is busted. The exhaust side of the manifold is busted, so hopefully I can take it apart and get a new exhaust side. Or I just have to get the whole new dog on manifold. What, we, either way, either way, whatever happens. Um, of course, it's a six-cylinder. Um, it's got the belt pulley, and it's got a PTO, and it's also got the lift on it. Um, as you can see, it's rusted out. It's rusted out here, and where the battery box is, basically. But the rest of it is is pretty straight, relatively straight. I have the tins for it. I just have them in another building at the moment. Um, the engine's locked up, so this will be my second locked up tractor, or third locked up tractor. Never mind, third locked up tractor to purchase that I purchased. Well, actually, I didn't even purchase this one. This one was given to me. Because if it wasn't going to be taken by me, they were going to scrap it. And I didn't want to see it scrapped. So, I bit my bit my tongue and I, my wife agreed with me and she said that you can have it. So, now I've got ten tractors. But, we were filling air in the tires, which surprisingly, they held. These tires have been sitting for such a long time and they held. But this one was full of calcium chloride and guess what? The rim decided to poop out on me. So, at any moment, it could uh, bust out of there. See, there's the tube. There's the tube, there's the beat of the tire. The rim is shot. But thankfully, 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 the other rim is in good shape. Now, this rim was really calcium chlorided up. They're both full of calcium chloride, but still. And then, it's got the fenders on it. This fender's in good shape. Uh, it's got a little rust down in the bottom. That fender, on the other hand, is broken, and it decides to fall over on me every now and then. So, that's the case on that. Um, let's see, I, I'm missing the main rod, the main strap that goes here yet, but that's minor details. But uh, here's the plate for it. Let's see if I can get in there. You can see the yeah, 2481.85 is the serial number. I have yet to pull the plugs and see what that looks like on the inside. Um, it's got the starter. Um, here's the battery box. It's pretty shot. Um, my gauges on the on the dash. Um, I'm going to try and replace them as best I can. But the only big disarray to this tractor that I found is, see there's a little puddle of oil down there. We got to look and when we loaded it up, what could be the problem there? What What's causing that? Well, I don't know if you can see it. There you can see it. That's the problem. There's a bust in the bottom of the transmission case. And I don't know how that happened but as you can see it's dripping oil so that's got to get fixed so I'll be tearing into the transmission which probably means I'm going to take it apart 
in here and go forth. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, it's a fixer upper. It's a it's a free tractor, so hey, what the heck? It needs work, but I know with with time and patience, I'll get it back to where it was. My tire's split now here. I don't know the tires. That tire's not so hot. This one held air good actually in the rim. It's got calcium in it, but it didn't uh, didn't rust the rim, so that's good. Um, it's got the swinging drawbar, of course. It says oil all over. <laughs> I'm kidding. It says Oliver. Literally oil all over down there. <laughs> Uh, that's the nickname I've always called Oliver's. I've never never had one to be to be appreciative of them, so I didn't know what I had. Whoa. But yep, yeah, and then I have this cover in the shed because it was flopping up there. I needed to needed to uh, get it reassembled. But also I noticed this is broken. I don't know how much that's gonna take to get fixed or where it's even broken at. Maybe it just came loose. Anywho, but it's huh. I don't even think it broke. I think it just came loose. Hot dog. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some work to get that back into work. But it slips in and out of gear. Fine. It's in the bottom section of the there's in the top section of the transmission all the gear slip in brakes work brakes go good only problem is the clutch is stuck too so it's stuck the clutch is stuck but I'm excited for it I'm excited to see and use it because it is it is a definitely I've not ever had an Oliver tractor so this is a first for me and I'm rather excited but it's got, like I said, it's got the, the power lift. I think that's how that works. I have to get a manual for it yet. I also have to get a, a repair manual for it yet, so that's good. But hey, my belt pulley's loose. But yeah, it's here. It sits, uh, it sits pretty nice. Um, thanks to, big thanks to Doc Reese. Well, Reese Holler, 92. For the help we went and got this and the day before we went and got a 1949 md out of bismarck for him so he's got that project in my shop too so but he said he's going to be able to fix this fender it, that ain't supposed to do that so but he said he can fix it so i guess he said he'll take it take weld it this fender's not in bad shape so this one doesn't need any fixing really but I've come to notice by looking at parts online, this is going to be kind of a spendy, a spendy uh, overhaul job. So we'll have to see. But there, that is it. I have an Oliver 70, guys. Kind of excited. Well, okay, I'm really excited. So until then, this is kind of a just a bring it home update. So there we go.